you guys, it's Griffin and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am doing a haul, which I haven't done in such a long time, but I recently went shopping and I thought I'd show you guys a little bit of what I got. You can see a few of the bags here. I went to Brandy Melville, Topshop, a store on Ventura called Soto Lifestyle, and Anthropology. So let's get started. Oh, I also stopped by this resale store called Crossroads. It's also on Ventura, but I believe there are other ones in LA. The first thing I got is from Crossroads and I got this wild fox couture sweatshirt. It's a peach pink color and it has white palm trees on it and it has the rips in like the bottom and on the sleeves and I've seen this on celebrities like Selena Gomez and Kylie Jenner and like all these people have worn wild fox and it always looks so cute on them and I saw it and I was like oh my god I have to get it. It was a size small. It was like a match made in heaven. There are no stains, no tears. So overall I'm really happy with it and I think Crossroads does a really good job of making sure that the items you're getting don't have stains or tears in them, which I really love. Next, let's go on to Brandy Melville. So I, of course, got sweatpants from there, and I don't know how many pairs of sweatpants I own from them. I would say a solid 10 pairs, because every time I go there, I get a new pair of sweatpants because they're inexpensive, and like I've said many times before, they are the comfiest sweatpants in the entire world, and I am obsessed with them. Next up is a super slouchy sweater, and it's in a gray color, and I actually love this because it's really long, and it has little pockets on the side, so it's just like super cute and comfy. It almost reminds me of the style of the clothing that Miley Cyrus wore in the movie LOL. I think it's really cute and I'm excited to wear it. So I've been obsessed with Brandy Melville's sweatpants for quite some time like I just mentioned but this time they had shorts with the same exact material and sometimes it's too hot to sleep in sweatpants so I just had to pick a pair of these up. Anybody who knows me knows that my new favorite color is like a pastel pink color. It previously was a seafoam green bluish green color but um, pastel pink is my new favorite color and I am obsessed with it and Brandy Melville had just this little v-neck it's like just a comfy t-shirt and it's pastel pink so I thought I'd pick it up you are insane if you think leggings aren't the most comfortable thing in the entire world I think they are the most comfortable thing in the entire world so I picked up a pair at Brandy Melville they're black and they remind me of a Lululemon legging um, they have a different texture but I think they'll last just as long as the Lululemon leggings so um, I'm excited to wear them they're a little less thick I do think that they'll last for quite some time Next up is the Led Zeppelin t-shirt. I just think this is really cute and comfortable. And no, I don't listen to the band, unfortunately. I know a lot of people think that it's dumb if you don't listen to a band, but you wear a shirt. I just think this shirt's really cute and it has a nice little logo on it. So even though I don't listen to Led Zeppelin, I think the shirt is cute and I might as well wear it because I like it. This is something I'm really excited for. Um, I didn't think that I would find anything like this at Brandy Melville. I thought maybe I would find something similar to this at Topshop, but um, I came across this at the Brandy Melville at the Grove and I really really love it. So it's kind of just this crossover shirt. It crosses in the front. It looks like it goes really really low but when you put it on there's like a little button right here and um, it just buttons up and it crosses. It's super cute. It reminds me of something you find at Nordstrom so I really like that because sometimes Brandy Melville has clothes that are all like super cute and comfy but they're not like chic and I think that this is absolutely like a chic look. Everybody's been wearing these shirts with the little cross things in the front that tie and I had something similar to this at VidCon and I wore it, um, it was a romper actually, but it was the same like style with the tying up at the front. I've got a lot of compliments at VidCon and I saw this and I thought it's almost summertime and it's a cute little tank top so I might as well get it and see if I like it. And my last item from Brandy Melville is this little tie-up shirt. It's like a silk texture and I think it'd be really cute with a nice bralette under it and maybe a black pair of jeans. Now on to Topshop. So the first thing I got is a pair of sunglasses from Key, and I actually really love these. I think they're super cute. I can see my light in them. The lens is a little bit reflective. It has a pinkish and yellow tone um, for the reflection. On the top, it has a little detail. I'll do a close up of this. I think these are really cute and I'm excited to get to wear them. When I was at Topshop, I chose looks by outfit. So um, I put together two different outfits and I bought those. So the first outfit starts with this bralette. I think this is really cute. It's um, pretty comfortable actually. It has a regular thing like a regular bra in the back, which um, not a lot of bralettes have. So I like that because it fits a little bit better. And over it, I would wear this shirt. It's like kind of a mesh. It's definitely see-through. So if you're not comfortable wearing a 
bralette under a shirt that's a little bit see-through, then I wouldn't suggest getting a shirt like this. And then for the pants, my favorite, favorite part is these jeans. Look at how cool that looks. They start out at the top like regular jeans and then they gradually go down into an absolutely like holographic look. And I think that is so cute and I'm really excited to wear them because I've been waiting to wear these until I filmed this video. You can bet yourself that I will be wearing these jeans tomorrow. <laughs> the next thing is a little bit different from my usual style. Um, it's kind of like a jumper, a romper with like pants, I don't know, a pantsuit, whatever you want to freaking call it. It is this long navy blue and I don't usually go for navy blue because I think it's too close to black and I prefer black over navy blue. So usually I don't go for navy blue but I thought this was really cute. It has on it little patches. This one is an equipment company patch and this one is a New York studio tour patch and this one looks like the actual Twitter logo. Okay like not gonna lie it looks kind of like a prison jumpsuit but it's actually cute when you put it on and I think with the right pair of heels and the right jewelry you can really accessorize it and make it look absolutely stunning and a really like casual but chic go-to look. So that was all I got from Topshop, so on to the next one. The next one happens to be Soto Lifestyle, and this is a little boutique on Ventura. What I got at this place is more uh, bohemian vibe because I haven't had a lot of clothes like that and I wanna start getting more into like a loose, bohemian, casual, chic look. So what I got is this shirt. It's like a little scrunched at the bottom and the sleeves are also scrunched, but the sleeves have little details right there. It ties up like that other shirt that I got from Brandy Melville. It ties up in the front and it's just really soft and cute and comfortable. The second and last thing that I got from Soto Lifestyle are these pants. They're just a scrunch at the top and then they're just a chiffon texture and I think they're really cute. They're black and white stripes and I think they'll go with a lot of different tops. My last thing is from Anthropology. It's just a vanilla perfume from there and I think it smells really good. Um, I had a friend who wore it all summer and I was like obsessed with it and then I went there and I was like, you know, it smells really good. I might as well get it. So, oh my gosh, I forgot about one thing. I stopped at this little kiosk at the Grove and it's called Very Tiny Little Bling Thing or something like that. And I got a necklace with a G on it. It's just a silver necklace and it has a diamond G on it. I'll show you a close up of it. It's really cute. And then I also got three rings from there. I'll show you close ups of everything so you can see what I'm talking about. I ran out of stuff to show you guys. I guess that means I should do some more shopping. I am just kidding. I probably don't need to do any more shopping because I do enough for at least eight people. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Also, make sure to check out some of my social medias. I will have them listed down below and hopefully I'll see you guys later. Bye.